Hello, and thank you for joining us as we continue our adventure with Aptera, a firm that is working toward the goal of producing one of the most advanced electric vehicles that is hoped to be available for use in the nearest future. In light of this, we plan to investigate the prospective electric vehicle brand's technological capabilities, including its wheel power, auto cycle, and efficiency. Let's get this saga started. Aptera is bringing together high performance and environmental responsibility in the realm of electric vehicles. Because of this, we would like to use this opportunity to discuss some of the positive aspects of the high standards that this vehicle delivers in comparison to other electric vehicles. Come on, let's get going. Electric vehicle, EV, innovation is no longer a luxury in a world that is becoming increasingly defined by climate change. Rather, it is a need. A firm that is not only pushing the boundaries of electric vehicle technology, but also reinventing the whole process of vehicle manufacture, is Aptera Motors Corporation. A dual promise. Quick and efficient at the same time. The car that Aptera has developed is a radical departure from the common idea that electric vehicles, EVs, must sacrifice power in order to achieve efficiency. It is a spectacular four-second acceleration from zero to 60 miles per hour, for its all-wheel drive edition, which positions it squarely in the class of formidable competitors like as the dual motor Polestar 2 and the Hemi Dodge Charger RT. A low body weight and dual LF motors allow even the entry-level edition to wow with a sprint time of only six seconds. The engineering expertise that went into developing an electric vehicle that combines performance and sustainability is demonstrated by these stats which are not merely a source of bragging rights. But before we go any further, if you are enjoying this content, please show your appreciation by loving this channel and clicking on the subscribe button that is located below. This will allow YouTube to learn about your preferences and provide you with the ability to receive new video updates as they are added to this channel. I am grateful. Let us go with this. Next on the agenda is for us to revisit assembly with the goal of maximizing efficiency at every turn. Despite the fact that conventional methods of automobile production are tedious and time-consuming, Aptera has decided to return to a method that was used before World War II. They have decided to go with a light assembly procedure, which involves arriving at their Carlsbad plant with pre-built components that have been shipped from their suppliers. This innovative method may appear to be dangerous. Nonetheless, it is anticipated that it will greatly reduce the amount of time needed for production. In approximately two hours, the model makes it possible to put together an Aptera vehicle from the ground up. Despite this, there are some essential components that are still manufactured in-house, such as the creation of solar panels and batteries, which demonstrates a combination of outsourcing and proprietary production methods. The obstacles, which are not a setback, are funding and scaling up the business. How come? Although Aptera is innovative, the company, like the majority of startups, is confronted with difficulties. One of the most important challenges is being able to acquire adequate finance to initiate mass production. The fact that they are looking for financial assistance has led them to submit an application for a loan from the Department of Energy, which is the same loan that the original Aptera attempted to obtain more than 10 years ago. While this is going on, they are aggressively searching for a billionaire who is filled with inspiration and can provide them with the necessary supply of funds. Response from the market. An upbeat and positive outlook. The market response has been encouraging, with a surprising 43,000 pre-orders being registered despite the hurdles that have been presented there. Once validation units are distributed and third-party evaluations are carried out, the leaders of Aptera anticipate that this number might climb to infinity. A positive outlook for Aptera's future is painted by the powerful response from the market. The objective of Aptera is to work toward a more efficient future. The story of Aptera is a riveting narrative of creativity, ingenuity and daring ambition. It stems from a crowdfunding campaign that was quite exceptional and has the potential to produce the product this year. As they get closer and closer to their production objectives, the entire world is watching with bated breath. And they are hopeful that they will be able to produce an electric vehicle that will revolutionize our idea of efficiency and sustainability. 
While there are challenges to be conquered, the Aptor team's dedication to a more environmentally friendly future is the driving force behind their forward pace. This exemplifies the unyielding human spirit in the face of a mounting global problem. Given the recent resurgence of interest in motorcycles, Aptera's solar-powered electric automobile has the potential to prove successful where others have failed. Failure is always just around the corner in the world of startups, which is a reel that involves ups and downs continuously. In 2006, the solar electric car startup Aptera appeared to be in this position. But in 2011, the company encountered a roadblock. Despite this, the corporation did not quit up, as seen by a page that was torn by Galaxy Quest. The long-awaited, futuristic, solar-powered three-wheeled electric car is almost ready to hit the road after a relaunch in the year 2020 to set the wheels in motion as they were supposed to be. In other words, a solar-powered bicycle, to be more specific. What exactly is an automobile? It's a good question. Because of the presence of a saddle-style seat and handlebar steering, the United States Department of Transportation, DOT, classifies certain three-wheelers as motorcycles. However, an autocycle does not fall under this category. It is the combination of three wheels, a seat that faces forward, and a steering wheel that distinguishes an autocycle from other types of motorcycles. There were several variants of three-wheeled electric cars that had a front-facing seat and handlebar steering when they were initially introduced in the zero-emission mobility concept in the 1880s. If there had been a Department of Transportation back then, that would have caused confusion. However, the three-wheeled arrangement continued to be reasonably prevalent for passenger cars and small utility vehicles until the middle of the 20th century, after which interest began to wane. This was despite the fact that the electric component of the early autocycle equation did not persist until gasmobiles became the primary automobiles. People who are passionate about hot rods have been experiencing a renaissance in the past several years, and one example of this is the Polaris Slingshot. As another illustration, the vintage design of the Venice GTS, which is manufactured by the business Van der Holm Motor Works, may be considered. Additionally, it appears that the concept is gaining traction among existing automobile manufacturers as well. Yamaha presented a concept motorcycle known as the Tricera in the fall of last year. The Tricera appears to be based on a character from the most recent installment of the Transformers trilogy. As a result of all of this, the Aptera three-wheeler appears to be a trippy earthbound space spacecraft in comparison to a regular electric car. Nevertheless, it does fit perfectly into the aesthetic of the autocycle, which is more popular and more versatile. By utilizing a more extensive pool of potential customers than other manufacturers of motorcycles, Aptera hopes to get the best of both worlds. Drivers who are searching for a stylish yet practical electric vehicle to use for commuting and running errands during the week, as well as for having fun on the weekends, are the target audience for this company. A common misconception about Aptera is that it does not have sufficient space. This is one of the first things that people think about it. In spite of the fact that it only has two seats, the Aptera has 60% more storage space than a Honda Accord and 20% more space than a Prius, according to the announcement made by the firm. Aptera has the room for a pretty decent-sized grocery trip, they say, while ticking off a list of outdoor adventure gear that can fit into the car. With 25 cubic feet of cargo space, Aptera has the room for a pretty decent-sized grocery trip. A further target audience for Aptera is motorists who are looking for a vehicle that does not resemble a regular automobile. Motorcycles with three wheels, which are likewise becoming more and more popular, would be the next best thing. But in addition to their ordinary driver's license, they would also need to obtain a license to operate a motorcycle. A helmet is not required in the vast majority of states, and the majority of states only require that you have a regular driver's license, explains Aptera. If you want further information, you can look into the laws in your area. In addition, the fact that Aptera is classified as an auto cycle confers a number of possible advantages, such as 24 sevenths access to the high occupancy vehicle lane, reduced premiums for auto insurance, and other advantages. 
Our friends at Motor Trend have observed that the auto cycle category is used for registration reasons in every state in the United States, with the exception of Massachusetts. This is despite the fact that the United States Department of Transportation does not currently have a distinct categorization for motorcycles. Is it possible that this electric car will fly? The question that needs to be answered is whether or not Aptera is capable of delivering on its promise. They changed gears in the middle of the process and came up with a four-wheeled electric car in order to apply for funding. But they were unsuccessful in their attempt to do so. It appears that the first iteration of the company got caught up in the pursuit of a significant program run by the United States Department of Energy that was intended to speed up the production of electric vehicles in the United States. Now that there is a resurgence of interest in mobility on three wheels, there is also an increase in support for this approach. Until the idea of a solar-powered electric automobile is realized, Aptera appears to be resolute in its determination to never give up or surrender. It is only time that will tell. Within this briefing, I hope you were able to discover some information that was helpful to you. It would be greatly appreciated if you would show your support by liking and subscribing to this channel. Your actions will help ensure that other content similar to this is added to the channel. When we reach this point, we will conclude our briefing for the time being. I am grateful that you watched. See you when the next video is uploaded.